What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Today I wanna to talk real quick about how to tell if your Nepenthes is getting too much light and then what to do about it. Stick around. What's up everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about whether or not your Nepenthes is getting the adequate amount of light, or they're getting too much light, and then what to do about it. So first step against it is proactive. And so you want to understand what the species likes in the natural, um, in its natural setting. And if, if you have a hybrid, you want to understand what the parents like. So for instance, some species like uh, Enigma, like almost complete 100% shade, hence the name Enigma. And then there are other species like Madagascariensis, um, Bocariensis, or Stenophylla that happen to like a lot of light. And so the first thing you can do to protect your plant against um, any sort of burn on the leaves is understanding how they grow in the wild, uh, if it's a hybrid, how the parents grow in the wild, and how you can emulate that in your grow tent. So for instance here, this hybrid that I have way back in the corner here is Sibionensis by Meruliana. Uh, it likes more of a shady area since I've got it way back here in the back. Um, I didn't always have it there, and the plant suffered, but since I've done that, it has done very well. So I'm gonna take my own advice on that. The Stenophylla that I have here has done very well since the beginning. This plant has grown, uh, it's probably tripled in size within a relatively short period of time, two and a half months maybe. It likes very high light, hence I have it. I'm not gonna put you your face right in the light, but right up against uh, maybe a couple feet off of the light and it's done very well. Now. Is leaf uh, is is too much light detrimental to the plant? The answer to that question is yes and no. Uh, a little bit of leaf uh, discoloration is not necessarily detrimental to the plant. Now you can get what's called leaf burn, which can stress the plant out, and I will show you an example of both of those here in a minute. And so, if your plant is highly sensitive to light, it will burn. Uh, which will then cause the leaf a, a considerable amount of damage and will ultimately set your plant back. Now, there is a little bit of uh, pigmentation changes that occur that kind of give you some hints. So part of this, again, is being proactive and understanding your plant. For instance, if you have a plant that has a Peltata uh, hybrid or, or mix in with it, then your leaves are gonna naturally turn red. So that's not necessarily indicative of too much light. So you need to understand, again, the uh, growth habits and what are the characteristics of the parent plants that you have. Having said that, one good clear indicator is if your leaves are not uh, red by nature, is that is a good indicator that they're getting too much light. And I have a good example over here. I'm gonna pull you over here. This is a Sumatrana by Platykyla, or excuse me, Vichai, uh, highland or lowland by Sumatrana by Platykyla. And if you can see, if I can get it to zoom or to focus rather, see how the leaves are just starting to turn that hue? That is an indicator that this plant is getting too much light. So, what I'm going to do after this video is I'm going to move it down uh, away from the light. Its sibling uh, plant, which is right here, this is even though they look different in their morphology this is the same uh, from the same stock does not have that and that is a good indicator this one is about two feet further down and so that's an indicator of what the sweet spot is now this in itself is not detrimental to the plant it won't slow the plant down um, just yet however it can get too much light so i'm going to go ahead and move that down now while i have it and so let me show you what that looks like if your plants get too much so this this did not happen in my care uh, but this is brutus Nepenthes brutus which is truncata by Meruliana. and if you will look at this leaf right here that is leaf burn now luckily when i got it i moved it out of the light um, and so the newer leaves are doing fine but you can still see uh just a little bit of uh, turn coloration there that this plant is actually still a little too close to the light I'm okay with that though the plant doesn't seem too bothered by it but it is getting a nice little suntan 
this is where you've got a problem and this will cause stress to the plant. Now, if this plant stayed in that same amount of light, what eventually would happen is it would burn to the point where you would start getting almost like a sore, a sore spot on it or where you would get this uh, browning and dried out area. And it isn't necessarily lethal to the plant, but it will stress it out. And a stressed plant is gonna produce smaller pitchers for you. It's gonna um, uh, prolong its growth rate. And so you won't get that amazing sort of fast grow growth rate that Nepenthes are known for. And also you won't get all those big, beautiful pitchers that everybody loves. So that was a really quick video on that. Now, as a little bonus, what I, what I would suggest for any grower is when you get a grow, grow light, I'm gonna turn this light off so I can show you. With any grow, uh, uh, grow light, I would get one that is adjustable. This is a Fissita. These are $40 on Amazon and this is done very well. Phone is having a little trouble. There we go. Now, these are really cool. So if you don't have a grow light that is adjustable, then you're sort of left to just trying to figure out in your grow space how far you can get the light. And um, that makes it a little difficult, especially if you have multiple different plants, as finding out where each of them need to go. If you have one that's adjustable, that makes life for you way, way easier. Because then you can adjust down the light to the, the spectrum, that, not the spectrum, rather the intensity that you like. And then that way you can get it all in one spot without having to move everything around and uh, going through all that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any further questions about this, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm here for you, I'm here to support you. I, I appreciate your support. I appreciate the community that we're building here. I hope you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week. Talk to you soon.